technology seems to be coming in handy with everything these days, even things you may not expect. Cronkite News reporter Andrew Christensen explains what it's doing for the visually impaired. For general overview, blank. Ted 50 intermediate. VoiceOver, one of the advances used by people with vision problems to help them with technology. The Arizona Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired teaches its students how to use assistive technology to help them brush up on their computer skills. For computers, we have screen readers which convert text to audible speech, and we have screen magnifiers that allow the user to control the size and the contrast of, of the display. Um, on the monitor. The ACBVI also uses braille assistive technology on laptops that students are able to practice on at home. You know, they're not afraid to go into the interface of the software and be able to access um, the menu list or, you know, vital information. According to the National Federation of the Blind, Arizona is in the top 25% of the nation with the most amount of visually impaired people. The ACBVI is attempting to change that through its desktop support technician program, which aims to help students work in IT-related fields. If you think about your activities from the time you wake up in the morning till the time you go to bed at nighttime, it's like uh, how many of those things would you be able to accomplish if you suddenly lost your vision? Um, so we try and address whatever skills the individual needs in, in terms of accomplishing that. Uh, there are also cooking lessons that teach students how to use talking appliances. Everyday skills that students say help them bond with fellow uh, students. Whatever. It's one of the uh, um, best parts about ACBVI to me is the social environment because you get to be around a lot of times uh, People that are blind or visually impaired, including myself, don't get it around other blind or visually impaired people enough.